have the two you have most likely heard about the Dangote refinery somewhere in the outskirts of Lagos, but have perhaps self-generated images of what it really looks like. CEOs and leaders in the various sector arriving in the vicinity of the much talked about, never seen of a kind project from a sub-Saharan country and thus proudly Nigeria. The executives make their initial stop here the export and import terminal of eight lines to convey crude from the vessels and it is a newly developed port. It became necessary to add a port to the refinery project because some of the components required for this 650,000 barrels a day refinery could not be brought in through any of the Nigerian ports owing to the tonnage and moving them beneath the Lagos bridges. The port here can berth vessels for import and export and already in use, certified and approved. Put together, this has become a part of the Dangote refinery slash petrochemical complex and fertilizer plant. The world's largest single train refinery, a 650,000 barrels per day production capacity, and the petrochemical plant, which will produce polyethylene and polypropylene. These are essential raw materials for plastics. Construction has advanced, projected to be ready first quarter 2022 which will finally put to rest this journey, which was contemplated six years ago and started two years after.